Hello and welcome to this praise dashboard tutorial for quantifiers. I am here to walk you through the quantification process from how to quantify to marking duplicates and dismissing invalid praise. Let's get started. Let me go ahead and log into the dashboard. Here on the dashboard, we have a panel on the left hand side with different tabs. The tab we will focus on in this video is the periods tab because that is where quantification happens. So if you have been assigned as a quantifier, head over to the periods tab, select the open period you have been drafted for, and click on this pink button that says quantify. The praise items are grouped by receivers. So go ahead and select the first receiver to get started. The quantification values used by default is the Fibonacci sequence, which are values that increase exponentially from 1 to 144. These values could be any other sequence depending on how this is configured in your community. Whichever sequence is used, the lowest value would represent the smallest contribution and the highest value in the sequence would represent the greatest contribution. For example, the smallest contribution could be tweeting about a community project, while the greatest contribution could be publishing an important research report. To quantify, all you have to do is move this slider to the score you would like to assign. This receiver here has one praise item, and to quantify, I just move the slider to the score I would like to give. Now, before you quantify, it is important to read and understand the context and impact of the contribution in order to give it a fair score. Now, I can move on to the next receiver and repeat the same until all the praise items assigned to me have been quantified. If you come across a receiver's contribution that has been praised more than once, they should be marked as duplicates. Duplicates are generally assigned a percentage of the original praise score. Here is an example of a contribution that was praised four times. We have one, two, three, and four. One should be regarded as the original praise, and the other three should be marked as duplicates. The wordings used here are slightly different. However, if you take a closer look, this is basically the same contribution. As a quantifier, you should pay attention to discern which contributions are duplicates. The easiest way to mark duplicates is to select those duplicates, including the original praise, click on this icon at the top, and give it a score. The system will automatically regard one as the original praise and mark the rest as duplicates. The second way to mark duplicates is to give a score to the original praise and then find the duplicate praise, click on this icon that appears and type in the praise ID. The praise ID is an alphanumeric tag that begins with a hashtag and it is assigned to every single praise item. You can either copy and paste the praise ID like this. Or you can simply type hashtag and select the original praise from the list. To dismiss an invalid praise, simply select the praise item and click on the dismiss icon. An invalid praise could be one that is incomplete, out of context, or one that goes against what your community values. It could also be a praise that is given by the same person on the same day. So in that case, instead of marking it as a duplicate, just go ahead and dismiss it. You can perform some actions in bulk by selecting the praise items and clicking on any of these three icons for the action you would like to perform. Let me go ahead and quantify all of these praise items. When you are done quantifying, you should see this green icon at the top that says done. At the finish, all receivers should have these green icons, which indicate that your quantification is complete. This brings us to the end of this video. Quantification is a simple and straightforward process. You simply score each praise item by moving the slider to the value you would like to give, 
while marking duplicates and dismissing invalid praise as necessary.